my name is Guy Wallace and in this pack video short we're going to discuss modular curriculum development the addy like methodologies and processes of the pack processes for training and development learning and knowledge management PAC is an acronym it stands for performance based accelerated customer and stakeholder driven training and development of any blend the typical approach to MCD is via a six-phase process with four project steering team gate review meetings. This can be configured in any number of ways, especially if the MCD project follows on the heels of a curriculum architecture design project. One curriculum architecture design project leads to many MCD and or IAD projects, the new product development efforts of the PAC processes for training and development. The six phases organize the activities to produce the key outputs of a training development or learning development effort. It also organizes the efforts of the various teams that are involved. In the PAC processes for MCD, all the analysis data ends up in instructional activity design specifications. These are then organized or inventoried in the Enterprise Curriculum Architecture and that portion of that, which is the five-tier inventory structure. MCD produces event maps, which are event maps of the lessons of instruction. This is all fed by the performance data and the knowledge and skills data from the analysis efforts. In MCD, the next level of design are the lesson maps, which are maps of instructional activities of three types, information, demonstration, and application. These information, demonstration, and application instructional activities can exist at three different levels, producing awareness or deeper knowledge and or skill. The instructional activity spec is the final resting place of all of the analysis data, whether it comes from the performance model, which articulates the outputs and measures and the tasks associated with each output and the various roles and responsibilities for each task. It also aligns all the gap analysis data to that output and those key metrics. That information ends up in the instructional activity spec, or what we typically could just call the activity spec. The enabling knowledge and skills that enable that performance, that are derived from that performance model, also end up in the design in the activity spec. The six phases of MCD are also utilized as the framework for instructional activity development and acquisition. IAD is a subset typically of MCD. The intent of IAD is to produce components of a traditional set of instruction. Perhaps the client simply wants initially the performance tests and not all the instruction to go with that. Perhaps they want the demonstrations for a sales show or a client show and don't need the rest of the instruction immediately. Is there a way to build some of the instruction early and then come around and surround it with the rest of the instruction? Yes, that's the intent of the difference between MCD and IAD. So they are both the addy like levels of instructional design of the PAC processes. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.